All right, <clears throat> just wanted to show uh, what we've got going here on this Firestone radio. So I ended up making me a, a little uh, bundle there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh, I'm stuck on that. Made a little bundle of electrolytic capacitors. And stuck them in there and seems to be working all right Give a little volume here At the Mexican radio station Anyway, all I had to do is replace the electrolytics on this. Stuck them in there. I had to make a little jump at the ground there. No big deal. Uh, Why did I quit working all of a sudden? Tune in a couple of radio stations here. Anyway, it seems to be working pretty good. <clears throat> I messed with the alignment just a little bit and got that going. I don't know how the alignment on the dial is going to be. Uh, getting it in and out of the box is kind of a pain in the butt, so I'll probably just leave it as is. And it's probably fairly close. And so we'll just leave it like that. And... Uh, Pretty easy fix on this one, really. So I think I'll uh, get a damp cloth and wipe out the inside of the box and see about getting it stuck back in there. And then we'll see how close the dial is to the to the actual stations. We might clean it up just a little bit more and. I think I'll call it good. Should be all right. All righty. Well, this is going to be uh, the end for uh, part uh, five, I guess I'm on now. Oh, on these little, uh, this little bundle I made. I just got a zip tie and put it around there, and then I got some silicone and got some silicone and shot down in the very middle of the capacitors there and that helps hold it together and makes a nice tight little bundle it's in there real secure and stuff you could probably pick up the whole radio by it and uh pretty simple little gadget all right i'll get back with uh, part six and i'll have it all nice and neat in the box again all right, thanks for watching. Bye.